Hey, this is Gunnar, and welcome back. Um, I want to take the agro tower and show you how to grow mushrooms. Several of you have asked over the years, can I grow mushrooms in the towers? Yes, of course you can. First off, you'll need is some kind of a medium which with the mushrooms can decompose and create the mycelium colony within the tower. So what I've done <clears throat> is gotten regular wood chips that you would put in a, let's say a chicken pen, and uh, for bedding, and boil them. You want to make sure that you kill everything. So I boil them for five, ten minutes, and then you get this basically concoction of wood chips. Now, I'm going to demonstrate on the smaller tower at first. What we have. And really, you just fill your tower up. And the chips should fall through very nicely. And this gives you basically a vertical farm of mushrooms. And it looks like a lot of wood chips, but it's really not. It's maybe half of a cubic foot. They kind of swell up and expand. You really want to make sure that you get your full though, because this is what your mycelium and mushrooms are going to feed off of, decompose and basically make the mushroom for you. You can use pretty much any type of mushroom. Some mushrooms, they require a certain type of bark or they can only grow in a certain type of environment. So you'll want to check those things. Boiling is to make sure that you kill all the pathogens, bacteria, anything, <coughs> other fungi, anything that could be in the wood chips. Okay, now the tower's full, and I am just going to pack in any of the, any of the holes that need filling some more. Okay, now that we have our tower full of the wood chips, you just like the, the mushroom spores they're going to use. I like these wooden dowel rods um, that you can get on Amazon, you can get on a few other websites online. This one's from 2funguys.com and there's a hundred um, dowel wood spore rods and I'm going to put maybe a couple on the top. Maybe one or two in each hole. There's a hundred of them in a bag, so it doesn't really matter. If it starts growing too many mushrooms, I guess that's a good problem. And I put two in there. Rotate it. These look like that. can probably plant more than one species in the tower. Just plant them at different heights, so maybe one species and another species. Sometimes a lot of things don't like to grow together, especially in the fungi uh, realm of nature. Apparently mushrooms are not really animals, they're not really uh, plants, they're in between, they're in the fungi domain. Then you want to cover any dowel rods that you have now exposed. Now, one important thing is to keep the mushrooms moist. You don't want them soaking in water. You want to keep the environment humid and moist. So what I recommend is taking saran wrap and wrapping your tower, and this is what I do. So I actually put a hole, a cover on the top of the tower with a hole in it so those mushrooms can grow out, but primarily to keep the moisture in. And then, wrap the tower. Now the amount of moisture in that wood will keep this moist for several weeks if it's sealed tightly, and you won't have to worry about it as much.
I wrap it twice, not more. You don't want to smother anything. Okay, this will keep it sealed from any of the environmental impacts that might affect your mushrooms. And that's pretty much it. So like I said, these are twofungis.com. These are <clears throat> oyster mushroom mycelium. And like I said, you can find these on many websites online. So just make sure that you plant enough spores in the tower. Maybe be generous, one or two spores. You'll see what will come up. They may not all come up. They may, they may not have a perfect germination rate. Make sure to keep it humid. Make sure to wrap it. And then every week or so, if you see that the wood chips are drying out, then you might unwrap it a little bit or open the top and pour some water in. Now, I should say humid in, in the entire tower. This base is just a cool base I found. It perfectly fits our four inch towers. So we don't sell those, I don't have those, but that's what I use. You can do anything else. We, you can also use our full size towers and uh, if you want a lot of mushrooms. Now, the, the next thing to, to think about is where you're gonna put it. Are you gonna put it, are you gonna put this in a cool, damp, dark place? Yes. Where? That's the next question you have to answer. Do you have a place in your basement? Do you have a place in your garage? Do you have a place underneath your house? You cannot just put these in the house where it's 70 degrees. You need the 40 to 60 degree temperature where it's kind of humid, a little damp, and it needs to be dark. You don't plant these outside like you would any other plant. Those are the main concerns that you want to take care of, and then you'll have a successful mushroom crop. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to make more videos, and I will see you back next time. Thanks.